Okay, so for the second half of the test, for the last two problems on the test, it's, it's all about entropy. Entropy change, isentropic processes, isentropic efficiency process. There's a lot I can throw at you. Have to be, handle, have to be able to handle uh, anything. Let's look at this one. A rigid tank contains 5 kilograms of saturated vapor steam at 100 degrees C. The steam is cooled to the ambient temperature of 25 degrees C. Determine the entropy change of the steam and then determine the total entropy change of the steam and the surroundings. All right. So this is steam. I'm going to use the uh, property tables. Not going to use the... Um, not going to use any ideal gas equations, right? Not going to use C, P, delta T or anything. Use the property tables. Uh, so let's, let's kind of look at state one. Uh, steam, it, it tell, told me it was saturated vapor. Saturated vapor, 100 degrees C. Those are two good pieces of information. If we had a, one of those um, you know, fill-in-the-blank charts and I said, hey, saturated vapor, hey, 100 degrees C, you could tell me everything else. You could tell me, you could look up the, um, I'm not going to go to the property tables. You could look up the property tables and find the, find any value. What might be useful? What might be useful? Well, um, definitely entropy, right? Because we're trying to find the change in entropy. 7.3542 kilojoule per kilogram. Okay. Uh, is there anything else that might be useful? Maybe while we're... Uh, in the property table, um, I'm going to go ahead and write down two things. You can write down everything. I'm going to write down the um, specific volume, 1.672 kilojoules per kilogram K, and the energy, internal energy, 2506.0 kilojoules per kilogram K. Maybe I'm going to use them. Maybe I'm going to use them later on. All right, later on, it is cooled to 25 degrees C. And is there anything else that I know about it? You remember going back to chapter four, closed systems, rigid tanks. Um, it didn't exactly say, but there, there's this is a closed system. It has the same mass. Same volume, it has the same, this is why I did that, it has the same specific volume, same specific volume, 1.6720 kilojoules per kilogram K. So we can't forget all the stuff we did, uh, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks ago um, for these processes. Okay, so now, what if it has that temperature, that V, I would go to the um, table, um, Let's see, this is steam. I'd go to table, what, A4, the temperature table. I would see, does this V lie between VF and VG? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So if it lies between, I'd say that that V, 1.62, equals VF plus X, VFG. I would solve for X. I've got an X of 0 0.03856. So once I've got that X, then I can find the... Entropy, right, I can find S. S equals SF plus X, S, F, G. Um, I could also find U, I'll show you why in a little bit, U plus X, U, F, G. Okay, so I'm skipping the, the details. You, you can't skip the details, but have your property tables. Be comfortable with your property tables. Don't forget about quality, calculating quality, using quality. Um, I'm using it to find the entropy, 0. 0.683 kilojoules per kilogram K, and also I'm finding the U, uh, 193.67 kilojoules per kilogram. Okay, all right, so what was I trying to do? Entropy change, that's why I found the initial entropy, that's why I found the final entropy, the entropy change, delta S, uh, I think I'm going to do, you know, our units help us out. It's not kilojoule per kilogram. This is the total. This is capital S. That's mass times delta, lowercase, 
S. Uh, the mass was 5 kilograms S2.683 kilojoules per kilogram K minus S17.3542 kilojoules per kilogram K. Uh, yeah, kilojoules per kilogram. This is negative 33.36 kilojoules per K. All right, that is my entropy change only of the scene. All right, entropy change only of the steam. All right, what about the total part B, the total entropy change associated with the process, the total S? Well, I've got the delta S of the steam and the delta S of the surroundings, the delta S of the air. We can assume it's air. Uh, so I'm going to plug in negative 33.36 right here. If you want to find the delta S of the surroundings of the air, something, you know, that is like the sink or the source, this is an isothermal. We're assuming that the air is so large that it can take some of this heat and not change its temperature. Remember, that's an isothermal heat transfer. That is a Q over T. Right, that is a Q over T. The ambient temperature is 25 degrees C. That's that temperature, 25 degrees C. Change it to uh, Kelvin. What is this Q? What is this Q? Well, what is the Q that the air receives? Well, it's the same as the Q that the steam rejects. What is this Q that the steam rejects? We've got to go to conservation of energy. Uh, Q plus W equals M delta, should this be delta U or delta H? Because it was a rigid tank, it's delta U. That's why I was tabulating, keeping up with the U's uh, of the steam in this process. All right, there's no work. The Q is M delta U, right? The Q of the steam is mass of the steam, the delta U of the steam, U2 minus U1. U2 was 193.67 kilojoules per kilogram. Uh, U1, 2506 kilojoules per kilogram. Uh, so this is... A Q of negative 11562 kilojoules. It's negative because I was looking at the steam. The steam loses it. All right, but down here, delta S, delta S steam, delta S of the air, delta S. I've already calculated this, negative 33.36 kilojoules per K. Now, the Q for the air, should I plug in that negative or positive? Well, this was, I was looking at the steam, loses it, negative 1157. The air receives it, uh, end, positive 11562 kilojoules per 25 plus 273 Kelvin units work out. Delta S, positive 5.44 kilojoules per Kelvin. Anytime you're looking at the whole system, the system and the surroundings, uh, the entropy should increase, right? Rise in entropy uh, principle, okay? That was tough, all right? But it was an entropy change of a pure substance, so we looked at the property tables. Um, this one was a rigid tank, so the V1 was the same as the V2. That lets us jump from 1 to 2, lets us find the quality for state 2. With quality, then you can find anything you want for state 2. I found S and U. Delta S is M delta S, and the delta S total would be the, the delta S of the steam plus delta S of the air. It was an, The air was an isothermal sink. Q over T, I needed to find the Q. Found the Q from conservation of energy, M delta U. Whew. All right. Hopefully you'll learn some things there, right, that maybe uh, you won't get stuck on um, on the test.